This short clip is going to attempt to show you how to produce scaled phasor diagrams. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in the example on your handout, we have a series circuit. There's 50 volts across the resistor, 33.2 volts across the inductor. And I'm asking you to draw accurately to scale the phasor diagram. So current is our reference. You need a ruler. And I suggest you use either graph paper or lined paper to try and give you a guide. These questions do occur in exams and you need to be reasonably accurate, but they will give you a little bit of tolerance. So <clears throat> there's the, uh, the current, which is our reference. And then we're going to do the resistor voltage, which goes in phase. You will measure this perhaps five centimetres perhaps 25 centimeters, whatever you choose an appropriate scale. So you're going to do this, preferably on the line. <clears throat> so that's going to be 50 volts VR. The voltage across the inductor is 33.2. When you're drawing such a tiny diagram, the 0.2 will become virtually irrelevant. Uh, but you're going to draw that up there. So that is VL. And you're going to use the same scale here as you're going to do here. So this is going to be 33.2. So if you did this 5 centimetres, this is going to be about 3.3 centimetres. But you need it larger than that to keep the diagram accurate. The next step, parallel to this line, we go along there. And parallel to this line, we go up there. And that will give you your supply voltage. And if you measure it, you get your ruler and you measure this, I'm hoping you're going to come out with 60 volts. Okay, so that's the first bit done. <clears throat> the second part of the question, I've asked you to find power factor. Power factor, power factor can also be written as cos phi. It's literally the cosine of this angle. So cos phi is <clears throat> adjacent over hypotenuse. And if we use these numbers, it's 50 over 60. <clears throat> Ran out of space a little bit there. Uh, but that's going to come to 0 0.83, which is fine. Power factor is a number between 0 and 1. And there are no units. So that's how we do the power factor, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the final part of the question asks you to find the phase angle. So if we look at this, the cosine of that angle gives us 0.83. So if we do the opposite, so if we do cos to the minus 1, 0.83. Which is that number obviously that will give you 33.9 degrees and that is the phase angle let me just spend a moment talking about this in the middle of your calculator you're going to have three buttons sine cause and tan and above each one you'll have a different function so we want cos to the minus 1 and you need to press oops you need to press the shift button and then hit cos and that will give you cos to the minus 1 so that's how we get the next step okay on to the next bit that was the example in the final section of the work you have to look at slightly more technical diagrams. <clears throat> Just move that over a fraction. Slightly more technical diagrams. There we go. And we've got a voltage across a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor. I'm going to do this quite quickly. Uh, hopefully, you'll get the idea. So, current 
is the reference. It's our first uh, value in a series circuit. Then we're going to do the voltage across the resistor, which I'm going to make 400. I'll then do the voltage across the inductor, which I'm going to say voltage across the inductor is 500 volts. And the voltage across the capacitor is 200 volts. Important thing is something I've emphasized before. Capacitive articles and inductive articles are always opposites in the circuit. So what we do here is we subtract the smaller one from the bigger one. So if we just do that right now, we've literally got 500 minus 200, and that comes to 300. So the result up here is 300 volts. This is VL minus VC. From that, we can now find the supply voltage. And if you look, VR is 400. In this vertical axis, we've just got the 300. And if we do that, there is your supply, which would be 500 volts. You're going to do every step of this with a ruler, perhaps four centimeters, five centimeters, three centimeters, five centimeters, two centimeters. Again, the final step is to find the power factor and the phase angle. So, power factor. Cos phi equals A over H is 400, which is your adjacent, over 500, which is the hypotenuse, and that comes to 0 0.8. Finding the phase angle, we did that a few minutes ago. Phi is cos to the minus 1 of that number, 0 0.8. And if you put that in your calculator from memory, that's 36.9 degrees.